Hi, this is Alex from GetLLVR.com, and today I want to tell you about five A-B tests to try in 2020. All right, for the first A-B test to try in 2020, try product page confidence boosters. Um, this example here from Missouri.com shows um, a lot of great examples of confidence boosters. Why confidence boosters are super important is um, when customers get to the product page, it's a primary decision point. Um, a lot of times, you know, you're browsing a site, when you're deciding whether to buy, you're on the product page and clicking the add the cart button really is intent further down the funnel is correlated with a transaction. So uh, consumers uh, or a lot of uh, websites do a really great job of speaking about specific things about the product, but they don't do a good job of talking about themselves and how they're going to get you the product. Um, what pr other people's experiences are like actually receiving the product and in that transaction. So Missouri does a really great job of talking about their free shipping um, threshold at $100. Um, this definitely can, and can improve revenue per session and average order value as well. Um, they talk about their 30-day return policy and their two-year warranty. Uh, these are super important. Customers, uh, when they're purchasing a, a product like this at a higher price point, they need this these confidence boosters, these value propositions um, at a decision-making point. So uh, definitely test trying to add these types of thing. I also wanted to point out Missouri also has uh, two other types of confidence boosters. They have a one on uh, price. So um, the, this price and confidence booster, it just compares Missouri's price for this necklace at $285 versus an estimated retail. So what they're saying is, you know, our competitors or other people out there in the market are charging $870 for this, but we're only charging $285. Um, when you put their pricing like, the, like that, $285 does not sound as expensive, uh, thus promoting confidence in that purchase. Um, the other type of uh, uh, test to try in 2020, number two, would be to personalize your hero images and thus like personalize all e-commerce experiences as much as you can. Um, Really the way to test this will be to uh, run a test and, and change the hero image of, of your page. So uh, just an example here from our friends at uh, vessifootwear.com. They have uh, you know, a men's shoes and women's shoes category. So you know, an example would be to uh, change this image to something focused solely on the women's category or selling to women, right? Uh, and then we would go to optimize. And when we're doing audience targeting, we could match this UTM, uh, match this uh, audience targeting with a UTM parameter or a Google ad campaign that's also targeting directly women, so that we can match the creative that's on these um, these top of funnel campaigns, whether it be Facebook or Google ads, with the hero image that's on the page. Um, this type of personalization can reduce bounce rate and increase the rate that people at uh, the time that people spend on site. Um, hopefully correlating to a higher revenue per session. So um, that's definitely a test to try. You can get in here and change the UTM parameters. Um, you can get in the Google ads and pick specific uh, accounts, campaigns, ad groups, or keywords to target and, and, and you really customize your e-commerce experience. It definitely does not stop at hero images. Um, you can also do copy, um, all sorts of things. All right, for number three, um, try in Google Optimize to run an A-B test where you change the activation event. By default on all Google Optimize tests, uh, these, these activate on page load, but you can actually change this to any event you would like. So uh, just to get, get your wheels turning, um, some examples of this would be like uh, clicking the add to cart button and then a custom message displays. Um, maybe you want to give a coupon code right when somebody clicks the add the cart button to really sure up um, the rate in which they check out. Um, you could also do something specific when somebody signs up for an email, they they get the code in an extra place um, or, or or something like that. So any event on site, you could make uh, that that event could trigger the A-B test to begin. I think uh, there's a ton of use cases out there for that. I think you'll think of the one that's that's best for uh, your specific customers in sight. Uh, number four A B test to try in 2020 is to uh, rate have the test that raises a product feed on your site. So um, here at Jennifer's Enter Jewelry, 
Uh, you can see they have a what's new product feed high up on the page. Um, this can really increase the rate of product views that you have. So um, I really encourage you to try raising a product feed up. It definitely works really well with uh, uh, websites that have a high number of mobile sessions. Um, I think it can reduce bounce rate as well and keep people on the site longer. And I, I personally, if I see something that I like on the first click uh, going to a homepage, I'd rather go directly to a product page and navigate from there than to go to collection page first um, and then look. And I think a lot of mobile users are the same way. Um, so that's a great A-B test to, to try in 2020. Uh, number five and, and final A-B test to try um, is uh, tr try testing your different offer or messaging around your email or SMS signup offers. So Raycon Global does a great job here. Um, instead of giving the, the vanilla 10% off uh, discount code for email signups, they say win a free pair of ear premium earbuds. Um, to me, I think this is like uh, super casual. It, it almost seems too easy to, for a chance to win. I just dropped my email in. Um, and I think uh, trying different stuff um, in your email collection method can go a long way. Um, you'll see below in the blog post, uh, you know, example, we changed just the copy alone um, in Le Creuset's email and it lifted the email signup rate by 32%. Um, and that's 32% extra people that you can reach out to during super high demand times like Black Friday, Cyber Monday. All right, so those were the five A, B tests to try in 2020. I hope you enjoyed them. Um, if you have any questions on the execution or um, just how to implement these ideas on your site, uh, leave a comment below and we'll get back to you. Thanks so much, bye.